What is up my coconut bras and welcome back and in this video we are going to be doing the solo hiding spots that work and we are going to be on the map house because that is what you guys upvoted the most in our previous video. So be sure to vote for your favorite map the one that you want to see next down below and just go ahead and check the list down below. I'm going to post a list of all the maps that I have done already. Be sure it's not one of those and basically we're going to jump right into it. I'm not going to include all the tiny little spots that are just not very good. I'm only including good spots that do work that I have done recently and so I don't want to make it a super long video including a bunch of crappy spots these are all gonna be good spots that I have done recently that work so we're gonna jump right into it on this first one you're gonna need an impact grenade and you're gonna be able to get in between the bookshelf and the tilted bookshelf and it's a really really good spot the one thing that you need to make sure you do is don't hit the floor with your impact grenade or nitro cell because what that would do is open up the floor for anybody in the kitchen area to go and see but as you guys saw from our previous clip I threw the impact grenade a little bit higher and that completely destroyed it and you were not able to see through the floor all right now moving on we are going to be in the little office area on the side of kitchen and a lot of people don't realize that you can actually destroy the stuff underneath the desk and you need to be careful and throw the impact grenade a little bit further away from the desk because this desk is destructible and so if you throw the impact grenade onto the desk it's going to actually just blow up the entire thing and you will have zero cover whatsoever so right here, just make sure you throw the impact grenade a little bit closer and to you and farther away from the desk. Just make sure you don't injure yourself and you're gonna be good to go. It's a very, very dark desk and you're gonna see right here just how great this works. And a lot of people do not expect this. And a lot of people like to enter, especially when they are attacking the garage area and take top control to make sure nobody is flanking outside of that window in dining room because that can be an absolute pain in the ass. So really, really good spot for people to run past you and you to flank. All right, this next one, this is gonna be really good in the lobby. And where you need to do this is when they are attacking from front door. And the reason for that is it's such a hard angle. Most of the time when somebody enters, well, they should drone first of all. So if you get droned out, you gotta jump off. But if there's like an ash rusher or something, they're gonna jump right in there, most likely look into pool room, check kitchen and just run straight on through gonna give you an opportunity to take it out and you're gonna see right here this spot is super easy to get into and guess what it's a solo spot that does have its time of use so I decided to include it into the video and on it honestly it's a pretty unorthodox spot you're gonna be able to pick off somebody from this spot just make sure you get out of there as soon as possible as soon as you do all right, so this next one is gonna be taking place inside of the kid's bedroom. And so what you're gonna to need to do is get this little octopus out of the way. So go up and just melee it, throw an impact grenade at it, do whatever you gotta do. And then what you're gonna do is need a shield for this one. So I'm placing the shield down in between the little shelves and the bed. And so as you see right there, if you vault onto the shield, you're not actually able to get up. So what I'm gonna be doing is standing on top of the little dresser on the bed and then just sprinting and running down. And then once you get into this tiny little corner, it's gonna be really good if anybody's repelling on these windows here. It's too hard of an angle for them to see unless they're way, way off to the side. So really, really good one to take advantage of anybody just rush entering. And so that's when this one's gonna pay off. You can also watch this little window right here if anybody breaks through, or you could also watch the master bedroom window from this spot. Another little thing that's gonna help you out if you can, now, and this wouldn't make it a solo spot, but if you have the time, you could have a friend drop the shield for you, and then your friend could pick up the shield so that it doesn't draw any attention whatsoever to you. That would help you out, but for the purpose of this video, solo videos, I am leaving the shield there. But that is an option you could do, is just have a friend drop the shield for you and then pick it up. All right, so this next one is gonna be kind of more of a line of sight and more of a place to be to give you the jump on the enemy because you're not crazy well hidden but what this spot does is it's going to give you a jump on the enemy and that's because they're really not expecting anyone to be here and for this one you're going to really need to listen to your left hand side make sure nobody's on the scaffolding on the windowsill outside and this one honestly is going to give you a really nice angle onto the the master bathroom doorway so as you guys see right here is able to pick them off very easily with this spot and right here you see exactly what this looks like 
So obviously not super dark corner that somebody's gonna run right past. If they're all up on the third floor, then this spot could work. So there's a time and a place for it. Of course, if they're entering from construction, you're gonna wanna get off of there. All right, now this next spot is gonna require you to take out a chunk of this wall and then all you have to do is place your shield down and you will be able to vault over the wall and lay behind these tires. This one's really cool when they are attacking from the APC area or this little back alley by the river dock spawn. And if you're defending in the garage area, this one's pretty cool. You can hold a really, really tight line of sight that most people are not gonna be expecting. Now, again, that's gonna wrap it up for us. This is a shorter one. There's not too many nice spots on house. Of course, I left out a bunch of the really common ones like the one on the boat. Those ones still are good, but it's, it's really just not the best. So I wanted to leave those out. I love you guys all. Be sure to vote down below for the next one. I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video. We have so much stuff planned for the channel. So excited to share it with you, bros. See you guys all very soon. Love you all. Peace.